All right, what's up, everybody? Check it out. In this video, I'm going to explain to you oblique central impact and, by consequence, a special case, direct central impact. And, and I'm going to show you that, that these, you know, these problems in, with central impact, whether it's oblique or direct, it it's really just comes down to four equations and four unknowns, or really about two equations and two unknowns. And once you watch this video, you know, it's going to be like, Dang, I can solve any, you know, central impact problem. All right. So here, check this out. All right. So this is oblique central impact. All right. So if I have like two particles, so let's call this one particle A and call this one particle B. And here is the, the mass center of each particle here. And I've got this one flying in from somewhere over here. I'll call this like VA prime with a velocity VA. And this one flying in with a velocity VB, VB. VB bar, okay, it's some vector VB, and and really, and they're going to collide somewhere, somehow, you know, something along the line of their centers. That's why it's called central impact here, okay? And there, and what you have to remember is there's going to be two particles, they collide, and you just have to understand where that collision occurs. And that collision right here occurs here along this plane. And it's important in this plane right here, call this the plane of impact plane of impact and we're going to call this some tangent line to the plane so the line that's tangent to the plane of impact we're going to call that the t the plus tangent direction okay the plus t direction and the line perpendicular to it we're going to use again right here like this and it doesn't matter if you choose plus n going one way or another we're going to choose this way as plus n, okay? So I could have chosen the other way, that it's positive, normal. And I say normal only because it's normal to the plane of impact, this being the plane of impact right here, okay? And each of my velocity vectors associated with the particle has an angle. So this is an angle for the particle A. This is an angle for particle B right here. And each of these particles also has a mass. So, you know, this is like MA, MB, all right? And, and when you solve these problems, what you want to do is make a drawing before impact, just like this, before impact, right here. And then you want to make another, the exact same drawing, you know, I, I'm using a computer so I can do copy and paste, but check it out. You want to make the exact same drawing after impact. It's, you know, it's important to do this just, you know, as part of your technique, right? As part of technique and just following a format and, and draw here, you know, the line that's tangent to the plane of impact and another line that's normal to the plane of impact plus N, okay? And here, and what you want to do here is say, okay, after the impact, I'm this, this particle is going to have a velocity here. There's going to be a VA prime in the n direction, oops, make that the t direction, okay, in the t direction, and here a va prime in the n direction, and here, just like here, there's going to be a vb prime in the t direction, and a vb prime in the n direction. So in a way, I, I've taken the velocities after impact, and I've assumed that their components are in the positive n and positive t direction, positive normal and tangential, okay? Now, there's essentially only four equations that we can you get from this thing here, okay? So the first one is from, um, is from concert, and, you know, a lot of these equations are going to come from conservation of momentum, obviously, right here. And, and really, the first one is from, from conservation of momentum, C-O-M, conservation of momentum, conservation of momentum of the system, of the system, or the system of particles in the n direction in the n direction okay and you've got to use the system the conservation of momentum of the system because there is an exchange of force going on and so you know you can't account for that um, if you isolate the particles in the n direction so here in the n direction that equation is just m a v a uh, n the n component plus m b v b n before impact so my momentum before impact of the system is equal to the momentum after impact, M-A-V-A prime of N, 
plus MBVB prime of N. So before impact and after impact. And really all of these, you know, these VANs and VBNs right here, the first right here, these, these are just, it's just simple geometry. So here VAN equals uh, VA cosine theta A, uh, VAT would equal VA sine theta A. And in this case, because of the way the velocities are, these are positive because they're in the plus T and the plus N directions. And then here, this for this VB, if I was if I was to break this down to components, VBN would be VB uh, cosine theta B. But in this case, it would be negative. Okay, it's important. It would be negative because in, it's in the opposite of what I prescribed as plus N. And then VBT would be also minus VB sine theta B, okay, the angle B right here. And ohm, again, negative because it would be this component of velocity, this component of velocity right here, this would be the tangential component, and here's the normal component. This would be VBN, this would be VBT right there, this would be VBT. And again, it's just because, hey, they're opposite of what I have prescribed, okay? All right, so there's, and this is our first equation. This is our first equation, okay? And and, really, and, and now we just have to figure out what the, what our other equations are, okay? And the, and the other equations are going to come from conservation of momentum of particles, of particles in the T direction, in the T direction, all right? In the T direction, check this out, right? In the T direction, before and imp after impact in the teeter, in the tangential, in the plane of impact, there's no exchange of forces. That's why the individual particles and the conservation of momentum is okay. So that means that MA, VA tangent, or sorry, the, the, uh, the tangential component of the plane is equal to MA, VA prime of T after impact. And this, bam, bam. So this is, this is trivial. This just tells me that VA, the tangential component of velocity before impact is equal to the tangential component of velocity after impact. That's a no-brainer. And the same thing with the B, the, the, you know, the B, MB, VBT is equal to MB, VB prime of T right here. And again, you just get VBT equals V, VB prime of T. So these are equations two and three. Okay, so that's, that's again, and, the, and two and three are trivial, right? That, it's just, it's too easy, okay? It goes without saying, and there's no break. The last part of it comes from, as you guessed it, I'm sure all of you did, right here, the coefficient of restitution, okay? The coefficient of restitution typically uses a symbol E, okay? And, and because the coefficient of restitution, it involves, um, it's really, you know, the ratio of relative velocities before and after impact and in this case, it has to be in the direction of, of, of where you have an exchange of forces or impact forces, right? So, so you only have an exchange of impact forces here in this uh, in the in the normal component, right? So here, you know, here I, it's 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 just the relative velocity. So v before or after impact, v b prime of n minus v a prime of n is equal to the relative velocity before before impact of the particles minus VA, VB of N, okay? And the way I remember this equation, this coefficient restitution equation is, is uh, um, nothing technical at all. I just remember that it's BAB, right? Like a lamb, BAB. Anyway, all right. Yeah, I'm sure that was funny for some. All right, but here, this would be my fourth equation. And really, you know, most of these problems just involve solving these two, two equations, two unknowns. These other two are done, and then and what you what you end up solving for are here v a prime of n v b prime of n and v a prime of t and v b prime of t and once you have those then you can because now you have the velocities of the of the you know of the of the vec the velocities uh, of the component after the component velocities after impact then you can assemble these or put them together by vector algebra or vector addition or whatever, right? And make the whole, make the, make the actual velocity vector after impact, okay? Anyway, all right. Now, now what the heck is direct central impact? And that's, that's it. It's just these equations and, and you know, that's it. Ah, it's too simple, okay? And here, for direct central impact, it's just the special case where the angles are zero, right? 
you know, direct central impact is a case where theta A and theta B are zero. Okay, so geez, no brainer, right? So here that means all this, you know, this this would just go to zero. This would be go to one. Uh, this again goes to zero, so that's useless. And this goes to one, right? And then um, and then you're not going. So that means, hey, let's see here. VAT was zero, zero. These are zero. So these are this is useless, right? All this is useless. Bye bye. Okay. And then all I have here now is just that you know I have my conservation of momentum, right? Conservation of momentum and coefficient of restitution. Two equations, two unknowns for direct central impact. Could change. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Like me, subscribe, ask me questions. Bye.